hello friends today we will discuss about shannon diversity index which is again another diversity index widely used in to characterize the species diversity so let us start discussing about this shannon diversity index so shannon diversity index is a index a diversity index which is used to characterize the species diversity the basically the different type of species present in a single community it accounts for both the species richness as well as the evenness of the species present so it considers basically both species richness and evenness what is species richness species richness is basically the total number of species present in a sample and evenness means uh, it is a measure of relative abundance of different species in a particular area which we will discuss while solving the numericals so the value of this in shannon diversity index if it will be close to zero that means the diversity is very less which means if the diversity is very less that means only a single type of species is present the different type of species is very less in case of uh, less diversity and for the maximum value for higher value of shannon diversity index it means that your more number of different species are present the formula of this shannon diversity h is given by h is equal to minus of summation of pi ln into pi now pi is basically the proportion of species i which is relative to the total number of species calculated and ln pi is the natural logarithm of that pi calculated so first we will calculate pi then we will take the logarithm of this that pi and we will multiply that and finally we will do summation of each pi ln pi which is followed by its multiplication with minus 1 so in our csi examination uh, the numericals from the shannon diversity index usually comes and it is very easy to get to score 4 marks from this diversity index so i would request you to see this video fully and attend those numerics because it will help you to fetch those easy four marks so let's see one of the numerics this is one of the csi question so the question is the following table shows the number of individual of each species found in two communities c1 and c2 and yeah so in my first slide we discussed that it consider the shannon diversity index consider both the species richness as well as your evenness so here you can see the species richness of both the community c1 and c2 is same why because both of them contains four different species one two three four and species richness is a measure of the different species that measure of the total number of different species present in a particular community so in both the c1 and c2 community the total number of different species is a b c and d okay so the species richness for both the community are same uh, so while for evenness you can see here c1 is more even than c2 because the the distribution of each species for c1 is is very much even compared to c2 c2 usually contains 80 Zero five zero five, so they are not evenly distributed. So we have to calculate the Shannon diversity index of both C one and C two. So the general procedure includes these are first we have to calculate for each community the total number of individual. Then we have to calculate the pH, which means the proportion of particular species A among all the individual. Then we have to uh, take the log of that. pi value calculated and we have to then multiply the pi value calculated and the ln pi ln values are usually given in the question so you don't have to worry regarding those ln value and finally after adding all the ln pi value of a b c d we will multiply with minus 1 so let's solve this numerics so for community 1 the total number of individual in all species is equal to 25 25 25 plus 25 so you can see here 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 so n is equal to 100 okay and so a b c d each of them contains 25 25 25 25 so
so pi for species a will be 25 by 100 the proportion of species a among all the individual will be 25 by 100 for b which also contains 25 will be the same for c also the same for d is also the same so the pi value for each of them is 0.25 because each of them contains 20 25 individual in each species so each of them contain 25 individual in each species so the pi value for all of them are usually same and the ln pi that means the ln of this 0.25 will be which is given in the question is minus 1.4 so for each species a b c d the ln pi will be minus 1.4 so for species a ln pi is equal to minus 1.4 for species b ln pi is minus 1.4 for c d is same minus 1.4 let's um, calculate the pi and npi for community 2 okay so for community 2 the total number of individuals are basically 80 5 5 plus 10 okay and so the total number of individual in this case is also 100 and the abundance or the proportion of species sorry and the proportion of species a is usually 80 by 100 because the number of individual for species a was 80 so its proportion among total will be 80 by 100 for b number of individual is 5 so its amount proportion will be 5 by 100 is equal to 0 0.05 for c again the number of individual is 5 so its proportion will be 5 by 100 is equal to 0 0.05 and again for d the number of individual was 10 so its proportion among all will be 10 by 100 which is equal to 0.5 now we have to calculate the LNPI of A, B, C and D. LN is for species A, LNPI value is equal to minus 0 0.2. For species B is minus 3.0. For species C is again minus 3.0. And for species D is minus 2.3. So the formula states that H is equal to minus summation of PI into LNPI. So we have calculated both the PI and LNPI in our last slide so for community A PI was for each of them was 0.25 and LNPI we calculated minus 1.4 so we will multiply the PI value and LNPI value we will get around your 0.35 in each and every species because each and every species contain the same number of individual okay and so the h of this will be you add this four value 0 0.35 0 0.35 0 0.35 0 0.35 so you will get minus 1.4 so summation value is your minus 1.4 and when you will multiply it with minus 1 you will get 1.4 so the shannon diversity index for community 1 is 1.4 so for community 2 again so species a pi value we calculated 0.8 and its ln pi value is 0.2 so when you will multiply it so you will get around minus 0.16 for species b pi value calculated was 0 0.05 and ln pi value was which is given in the question was minus 3.0 so it will be again minus 0.15 and for species minus 0.15 for species d again we get the ln pi into pi value is 0.23 so you we will add the four values and we will get the summation around minus 0 0.69 okay so when you will minus when you will multiply this minus 0 0.69 into minus one so minus minus get cancel out so we will getting plus so in this both the cases this h value of this is higher than this one um, for comment two so the h1 is more diverse we can say okay so i hope you understand and and i hope you will like this video please comment like and subscribe if you liked it thank you